Kids to Wait. When I was growing up, I used to know that does everyone have to have a number six? No. So I was growing up, I began to find out that the world in which we live is implicitly divided into two. I 
and we are going to depend on our own independence. I'm sure many of our folks have this for it. If you want to go, you are not going to do a sign for your name, which is Yahoo. You are not going to do a sign for your sex, which is probably Mama and your son, and your son. All the things that you are going to do is to complete the opportunity. Now, who do you think? And change the world. The corporate philosophy of the world is this. They want to make all the information in the world accessible and useful. Now, this is like the gateway to a whole new world. There is almost nothing, there is almost nothing that we do for that we will not give in the flash. What are they doing? They democratize the knowledge. They democratize the knowledge after they are going to be restricted. So you don't need to do that again. Do the same thing, do the same thing. Now, he was in France, he wasn't going to school. His father was in London. He went from London in Seattle, Washington. He was in the US. He wasn't going to school. His father, I know he was in London. He left. He dropped out. This man was born in 1955. In 1975, he was also in the He created one world as Microsoft Corporation. That's very important. In 1995, in 1995, when this man was 40 years old, Forbes, Forbes magazine, declared him the richest person in the world. To me, that year, 1995, was the beginning of a new era in human history. Why? Because he was the first person to become the biggest man in the world without controlling any natural resource. What we get controls, you can't touch it. You can't touch what you control, you can't see it. Now, this was the first, he became a billionaire. And for the last few years, he doesn't even go to work anymore. He's not working. All he does is to use the money as a fire to better the world. The power of technology. You can be Barack Obama and you want to be president. You can be Hussein and you want to be president of America. But you need it. The power of his own ability and the power of technology was unstoppable. Many of us would like to balance technology. In 1945, Japan became the first country in the world where a nuclear weapon was used. Hiroshima was leveled in 1945. But something, in 1968, how many years that? The biggest was a mobile company in the world. Everybody who goes to, we see Honda, we see Toyota, we see Panasonic, we see Sony. That's the power of technology. That's the power of knowledge. Now, the great divide is putting on the great leveler and getting the constant battle. For one thing, it is the battle is uneven. The great divide is more powerful. The great divide has been around for so long. We can sit in our society. The rich and the poor. The rich are so few and the poor are so many. We see the ignorance and the we see the haves and the have nots. The haves are so few, the have nots are so many. The great divide is still very, very much alive. The battle is not yet won. It's very uneven. But what? <coughs> I'm on the side of the great level. I want the great level to win. Now, what do we need to know? Without us, without our ideas, without our efforts, the great level will lose. Somebody does one of the tests, um, one of the speakers, the last and said, Africa was resist, resistant to that is funny. We are not. But in fact, the people deserve not know what they want to know. Without us, without us here, without the idea we have, without our knowledge, without our efforts, the great level we lose. That's just it. The great divide is more powerful than all forces. Now, what do you need to do? What do I need to do? What does society need to do? So that the great level has a chance of what we do here is to spread the ideas. Technology is a powerful force. It changes landscapes, it changes lives, it changes. Spread the ideas of the power of technology. Or speaking to someone in class, as I said, 
A bottle of food costs 100 naira. And what am I implying that says to cost one having 100 naira? Ideally, anybody who knows what one, one hour of internet access and do for him will probably use a 100 naira in his pocket to have access to the internet and buy a bottle of food. But if you don't know what we need, buy that bottle of food, you need it for you may be a member of the consumer society. Now, spread the ideas. Spread the ideas. What is which because if you want to look at it, we keep talking about the genesis, we keep talking about the plan. They did not start today. Societies do not become successful overnight. They don't fail overnight. You must continue that continually spread the ideas and teach others. For one thing, we should never stop. I said it, the great divide has been around for so long. Divisions have been around for so long. We should never stop. Yeah. Society is so long field. I was thinking about this one day. I said we so long field on a black scale. There's no society that so long fields. The Roman Empire did not fall in where doctors and strike. That's the decision. What are we, what are we doing with this? Society is so long field on a black scale. We fail most tech at a time. And we succeed. I subscribe to his tweets. This is what he said. He said, head wonders all I know with Nigeria and wonders how we survive. He said, heart wonders how anyone is not busy working and at least one problem. Look at this. This is one of us. Still one problem. The problem of ignorance. The problem of poverty. The problem of lack of ideas. Make it your own problem. Tell yourself you're going to solve this in your own little way in this same country. It is possible. We can do it. Now, look at it. I said, hey, these are the bad things. They are still very poor. I was reading something and they said, look at the 100 biggest economies in the world. More than 60 percent of them. Take example, the biggest economy of Africa. Six million of the biggest economies in the world are multinational companies, controlled by those who control technology. Where consumer generation will most go and become the consumer generation. We need that information. He who controls information controls wealth. He who controls information controls power. We remember it used to be in those days. I remember the old days. What was going on? You don't even see anything on TV at 4 p.m. When, when they play. Now the world is changing. Information is more diverse. Now, health and well-being, these are the Just mention it. National hospital, all the other doctors in the idea of strike. Why? Women is paid. Women are paid. Women are paid. Opportunities. Let's look at it this way. If you don't know what you're supposed to know, even when I'm going to sit in front of your house, you won't recognize. He put us today. Everyone in the world fights over food oil. But how many of us here think that food oil is a new invention? Food oil has been around since the beginning of time. But somebody somewhere just found out what use that oil could be put into. Then it became a global commodity. You don't know what you have until you know what you ought to know. Opportunities are tied to knowledge. Opportunity is tied to information. Close the tipping point. In Nigeria, in Africa, in our society, we're close to the tipping point. That will come in time. I was just looking at it. Our president was on Facebook. It's shocking. You know what it means? We can write on the wall. I say, man, I'm fucking. But that is, he is on Facebook. You can talk to your own person. 20 years ago, it was impossible. Even if he doesn't even raise it, somebody close to him raises it. We are close to the tipping point. The tipping point is at that point where things began to change. All the effort people have been making, all the power of technology is going to begin to get to get close. We are close to the tipping point. I'm sure if you look at that picture, you put one coin on that picture, everything will come. Technology is the great leveler. It can change life. It can change societies. 
It's complete wealth. It's complete degree of life. Thank you very much.